Hey guys, what's shaking? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Saturday, February 20th. Just a reminder that I post these a day ahead for some of you so that they come up on the right day for people um, in different parts of the world. Uh, so anyway, the energy is meant for Saturday, February 20th, or any time you happen to come across the video. Um, this is the Witch's Tarot that I'm using, and I'm going to shuffle it while I do just a short introduction, and then we'll jump right into your reading. So the reads that I do for the daily tarot card readings are for all zodiac signs. So um, I hope you guys enjoy and that, you know, resonates. And let's have a look at a daily tarot card spread that I have here. Um, and the first card is going to ask what your mind needs today. So I'll just do that last shuffle and I'll do a deck cut and we'll have a card for that. So there's some cycle of behavior that your mind needs to dispose of. I've got the Ten of Wands here and there's an incredibly long journey. Um, you know, this is something that you could have been carrying in your backpack for quite some time. I think I talked about this movie Up in the Air with George Clooney um, possibly last week, but he does this bit as his character in the movie about how people carry backpacks. If you haven't seen the movie, it's really quite compelling. It's really interesting. And especially that part where he talks about how people carry so much with them and you can see that represented in the Ten of Wands. There's a very heavy load that you've been carrying and it might not even be yours, you know? So, um, <clears throat> your mind is seeking a resolution and there's something very interesting about the brain it's kind of like a computer and it'll keep on searching for something and answer for something until it gets it so um your mind wants to be done with it it could be affecting you physically and also emotionally um it could be weighing you down it could be coming out in some sort of um a health issue for you guys so there's something that needs to be resolved for you and you might want to figure out why you're still hanging on to something especially if it's a what if or why did you know um if something has already happened you know you can't really go back and change it so there's some sort of an acceptance that needs to happen from what i see here um let me just clarify that card out a little bit okay let me just wow Okay, so this is really cool. So yesterday's reading, I saw somebody coming back for you. Uh, for those of you who are single, I saw the potential for your twin flame love to arrive. Um, all right, so I'm the card I pulled for you guys is the lovers. All right, so you guys could be feeling a little bit exhausted by the journey to reunite with your twin flame love. And you could be getting tired, like, why is this taking so long, you know? But you guys have to be ready for each other. You know what is worse than not meeting that person, like walking the path and just waiting for that person to come in, is meeting them at the wrong time, you know? And then things fail, things fall apart. If you're not emotionally prepared for each other, then you might just have a different burden to carry. So I am seeing you might need to release something that didn't work out for you for one reason or another in the past and allow that open-mindedness for this twin flame love to come in. And for those of you in relationships, you know, this could be somebody that is part of your soul family also. You could be feeling sort of an echo of loneliness. Um... You know, because you need more than just one other person if you're in a relationship. You know, you need members of your soul family to come in and, and support you up. So if you're wondering why somebody is missing in your life, it's because the right time has to manifest for you guys to meet each other under the ideal circumstances. So it's not, you're not carrying that for nothing, you know, you're not being punished you're being prepared okay so very very interesting um what your body needs this is like so perfect that i pulled this card i've got the four of swords because like i was saying before 
if you have some sort of intellectual burden that we're seeing with that Ten of Wands, it can really tell out on your body. Okay, so this card with the Four of Swords is asking you to rest, take care of yourself, try and calm down that monkey mind. If you're not sure what the monkey mind is, you guys, I saw um, a Buddhist monk called Dandapani. He does this really interesting video on what the monkey mind is, so you might want to check that out. You know, really just sort of, your body needs to relax. This is what this card is telling you. And something that I read and something that I repeat to myself quite frequently is that if you don't listen to your body when it needs a chance to relax, your body will pick that day for you. You know, and so many people push themselves on and on and on, you know, sort of unrelenting and not having that faith in divine and perfect timing and that the universe knows exactly when to bless you. Um, so take the breaks that your body needs. And this is for anything, your brain too. Uh, so let's see what your heart needs, you guys. Whoops, I had a card. Wow. This card flew out. So this is really a beautiful card here too. I pulled the magician. So your heart, your heart is co-creating with the universe. Okay, so this is where you kind of need to take that step back and understand that the universe has no choice but to deliver you the things that you imagine yourself having. Um, so you might just want to just go back and remind yourself how powerful you are. You have the power of the magician. I just did a magician series. I had a magic week reminding you how powerful you are and what you're capable of doing. So you set the wheels in motion with the universe, right? You set the wheels in motion and then the universe will calculate when it's time to deliver your creations to you. I'm gonna clarify that card out. You know, it's like maybe you've lost belief or lost faith and the card I pulled for the return of spirit this week on Thursday was the faith card and that is having that you know i know it's happening could get sidetracked it might be taking way too long you know but it is happening it is happening you know like i said before the universe has no choice but to deliver you the things that you picture for yourself so make sure that you're picturing things that you really really want you know um especially if you are trying to call in keep saying try but you are calling in your divine twin flame your karmic soulmate it's just sometimes it feels like it's taking all day you know so i pulled a card over top of the magician so this is a really nice calming card for you guys we've got the six of swords so this is a reminder that you get there soon you know it's almost here for you and I saw that, was it yesterday? I can't even remember. Where there was a fog coming in for you guys and you can maybe having a hard time seeing through the mist of that fog. But that first rolling in of the fog and it could feel a little bit cold for you too. That's the first notification. That is the first... That's the onset of your deliverance. That is the onset of your manifestation. You know, so really start to encourage that in. You know, the Six of Swords is saying everything is going to get a whole lot better. Hang on. You know, you're almost at that green pasture that you envis envision yourself in. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you guys, it's so close. This is not the time for you to lose faith. This is not the time for you guys to put down the load. You can see the castle in the background and your steady steps moving forward in absolute faith of divine and perfect timing. Understanding that your thoughts become things and you know, you just have to take care of yourself in the meantime, get that rest, do the meditation, you know, do all those fancy things that I always talk about. Um, you know, take a bubble bath, you know, watch something funny, 
relax yourself a little bit and just know that you are co-creating your life and your manifestation. It's like so close. And that could be where you're having that little bit of a burst of frustration because you can feel it, but you can't see it. So a little more time and your manifestation will bloom right in front of your eyes. And hopefully this is going to be, you know, your dream come true. That's all I'm getting, you guys. <laughs> Take care. Have a great day. Bye.